have something for you. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded! Who told you to arrest? Stow those damn flames! And you! If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. That's the day done then. Drinks. There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Times are hard. But this year it'll make them less so. For a while at least. Sorry about the welcome. Meant nothing by it. You wait right here. Here. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oroflam's finest. Just as promised. I have no business with Branded. Well, I have business with you. A package, fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. This is lighter. Branded, if I discover you have played me false, I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. Delightful. I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind, whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Etienne sent me. I didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right, quickly now, before the guards notice. There's no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink. The very best. Specially distilled from our most discerning customers. The guards find that? They'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. If Etienne likes it, tell him there's more where that came from. For a price, of course. Of course. Perfume, cigars, and spirits. Someone has expensive taste. Let me see, tell me if you can hear me now. Is, so I think the issue was Streamlabs decided it wanted to just like ignore the fact that I had a microphone. There's only one way to find out. Good now, okay, perfect. Well, let me say my introduction again. Welcome everyone to the Paladin's Keep. Happy Saturday. Hope everyone's having a good day. Thanks for stopping by. Jinx, thanks for stopping by. I wanted to say, you said so I'm over 70% done. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I said I agreed. Um, I have a second save file where I play this on my own, and so I just got Odin, um, and I am uh, very far. 
and it's amazing. I've been loving it. So what I'm hoping to do today is finish the side quests here, get ready to head back out towards um, Port de Sol Day, and I have to get some ability points so that I can lock some of the Afrit, or I have to master the Afrit abilities, because on this playthrough, uh, I'm going to be using them. On my personal playthrough, I am not using them. I have a setup with the Phoenix the abilities, the Titan abilities, the and then the, Rom, uh, the Ramu abilities. Say. And it's crap. Would you please to learn what you have to exchange for those items? You need the crystals. No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better The Bahamut abilities? I, I have the race, taken a the wall gladly give rough their spin at all of the... I haven't tried Shiva's or Odin's crumbs, yet, but all the other ones I've definitely been using uh, just to test them out and see how they play. I really do like Bahamut's. I think there's a lot of capability in it. I think the only issue that I have with it is that some of the abilities are slow. So like the Mega Flare, obviously you have to like be lucky enough to dodge around for a while if you want to max that out. Um, I find that to be probably a difficult thing, so I don't know if I'd put Bahamut necessarily as like, a key, like one of the three icons that I have. But the other abilities were shredding through just like normal people. I just haven't tested them on a boss or like a hunt yet. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you evaded me. Because the way that my current setup works is with at least my abilities that I'm... And I can show it later. I uh, use Mega Flare when I can do nothing but dodge, right? Um, because it does have a dodge mechanic on it, which I think is nice. So as long as you're able to get those dodges crystal clear, then you're golden. Um... So what I do is I use, I start off, I close the distance with Phoenix, because you have the Phoenix shift, and then I, with Ramu, I place down the lightning pole, so when it hits, it deals damage to everything around it, and it's very good at damaging people's, like, stagger bars, and then I will basically just allow oh, them to rest. attack it, so that we shred their stamina bar. Once their stamina bar is over, I instantly limit break and throw the remainder of my abilities at them. Not half as much as I need and this. Just torching them in damage. I don't Use the satellite either. first. It will fire or at the mob even when you can't attack. Nice. It always been this bad? I'll have to it try. I think on this playthrough we'll probably, instead of using aim. Titan and Ramu because I'm yeah, used to that, we'll try some different uh, things out. So when we get behind it, we'll definitely use him. And then we'll probably use Shiva or Odin. And then we can mix that with the free abilities. Titan, I should really give more effort into. He's Titan's fun. Um, it's the only icon that gives you ability to punch stuff. And if you're good at if you're good at, if you're good at timing your dodges, then you should hopefully be good at timing your punches or your blocks. And so the only difference is you're not dodging it. You're throwing out your circle ability. If he takes the hit perfectly, then you start throwing out these massive punches as a counterattack, which is nice. Um, but his his abilities are like pure damage, which is unique because I would have thought as Titan, his abilities would have been like defensive or like that tanky, but they're not. So with him, you hold down the, the ability button to like, for example, the first one I use is this punch and a circle appears and it goes all the way through that ring. If you hit it at the perfect spot, it, it just maximizes the ability. It's crazy good, especially when you have him staggered because you're just throwing out insane amounts of damage. But something with the games, I don't like to use the block button. That's fair. That's totally fine. Some people like games to be fast, fluid, have that movement be more uh, agile than anything, and that's totally cool. Got a dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Is that? I think that's the five yeah. Ds of dodgeball. It looks like you need it. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. I have to tell myself to remember to block. It's like, because, like, even in, like, games, um, if you look at, like, Dark Souls and Elden Ring, it's, it's you. like, you can alas, block, if you build that. yourself right, you can block practically everything that gets thrown at you. But then you play games like Bloodborne and Sekiro, and, well, Sekiro's 
pure blocking. Never mind. But you play games like Bloodborne, it's like dodge for days. So Why there's some games where like it just it just works that way. way. And in this game, I'm dodging for days. I don't ever use the block mechanic of, of Titan, so I'm probably going to swap out his icon because I have the abilities mastered, so I can keep the abilities there. I just might need to swap out the icon because I don't ever block. The Drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its And I, I don't ever use Ramu's uh, to the veil. ability, his icon ability. So I might I might swap his out too. Because this is hard to get because it creates this like shot lock command from like the, the Kingdom Hearts games and you have to land all the circles on him. And if you get nine, then he throws him out. And they, they just deal additional damage like after you land an ability on it. So it's pretty dope. I remember being a kid and playing Street Fighter and someone said, you ever heard of blocking? And you're like, no. You're like, no, I don't like that. Yeah, I didn't like that. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. Nope, Tatiana would not have told you. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claims to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is. But I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers. And they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. The shot lock is okay there with is large groups. It is, yeah, with larger groups. Favor. And also or if you have back. that um, lightning name is rod and placed down, because you can use it as a shot lock too. So it lands quick. She'll return and as then soon as I find something. It's just, like, combining Ramu's abilities work really, really well. And as long as you, your abilities are AOE based, like, it's stupid how cracked it is. Because the entire area that I've been in, like, trying to get up to Odin, for example, um, has been just, like, fighting these massive hordes of Akashic. And you just put down a lightning rod, hit it a few times while everyone's coming in, and then throw down one ability, one AoE ability, and they're all just gone. So he really is a chamber. I don't know why, but the top of my back just decided to want to get really sore for no reason. I must have slept on it long. its magic missile Ask power Gals locks it in place, then I can use the shot lock. Willow the, uh, Willow the Wikes with Rama's orb and ignition. Okay, yeah, because I have Willow the Wikes on prep to be mastered. Facts not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle. But bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. That move is broken. Much. Okay, good. Good. I, I have never used any of the free abilities on my so. personal playthrough, Doesn't so that's just like the Phoenix abilities. From my there, point of that time, were just too cracked. So I was like, I'm not, not I'm not giving it up. So was what it was. <laughs> so on this one, we are definitely going to use them. You can throw a Garuda super into that mix too. Okay. I I don't use any of the supers. I grab the Phoenix super, the Flames of Rebirth, and then. I used it during the Apoditry mission when you just get to East Pool and like right when you first get the the gear, like all this gear that Clive has after he switches out of the Empire armor. And uh, I was just like this, the, 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 sorry. What is the word that I'm thinking of? The cooldown, the cooldown of the ability was like so long. I was just like, I don't have enough icon spaces for this because you only have Phoenix and Garuda at the time. All right, we gotta hunt stuff. We gotta kill creatures. Um, Garuda super attack is a tornado that acts like a uh, DOT. Yeah, it is long. Yeah. Okay. So if it's, they, there could be a lot of good stuff out of that. We'll see. We'll definitely use the super ability once we get um, our third slot. I just gotta figure out which one that's gonna be. So close. Let's get me to a thousand. Eight. Eight points. Are you kidding me right now? Hey, Raptors. How's it going? It's nice to meet you. I uh, hope you're doing well. Alright, we gotta go 
this way because there's a there's like a tower up here that we're gonna go get. Because there's dudes to kill. I just saw a blue item up here past this tree. It's gonna be crazy if my eyesight's that good because like out in the real world, my yeah, my eyesight is not this good out in the real world. I can't find these little tiny items just like hit that you're like, oh I see a glimpse of it, it's all the way over there. Like that one's kinda out in the open without the one that I just got was kinda behind a tree. Oh, uh level grinding is it is it possible to level up killing mobs? It is, it just takes forever. That's what I pretty much figured out. Because you have to kill pretty much every mob in the map and you can probably get a level. At least in the early game you can at least get a level out of it. But as, especially as you start hitting later games, like it's the hunts are really helpful where I'm at because I've killed every single hunt that exists at the current point. And I have a like a hunt list pulled up on just like a website on one of my browsers so that I can figure out like where specifically to locate it because I don't want to sit here and like figure out and find where they are. I just want to know where they are. I'll worry about killing them. And, uh, they do drop a lot of they drop a lot of experience and obviously all the necessary materials you need to create or craft all the items. I wish the they had more power up items. That's fair. Cause like you have the stone skin tonic which I just used and I didn't mean to, but alright we'll take it because we got these Imperials up here, so I hope it doesn't run out before I get to them. An Imperial watchtower. Should be well stopped. He's got the blue flames still. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You're not welcome here. Yeah. Yeah. From, from his team had his input all over this game. Oh, oh, yeah, there's a lot of people that have definitely, like, especially in terms of people that have been faithful to the series, I'm sure have had a lot of input in terms of like, what we're doing. For me, I don't really have a whole lot of negative things, I guess I would say about it. One of my biggest critiques currently is the names. I, I, just, I just think the names, they gave up on some people's names. Because you have, you know, like Lord Elwin Rosfield, the Grand Duke of New Aria, and then you have the Sun Clive. Um, you have Sidalfus Telamon and Benedict the Harma, who are dominant of icons, and you have Jill. And it's like. I just feel like on some names they gave up. I can see it from boss fighters and character designs. That's fair. Yeah, one of the things too is like the character designs and the enemy designs are very, very few. They just kind of alternate in like minor details in different regions. So like you're gonna fight wolves everywhere you go, but those wolves are gonna look different. Uh, yeah, you have Barnabas Tharm, Dominant of Odin, the Warden of Darkness, and then you have Jill. And it's like, at least they did better with the Empire with Sylvester Sage and Dion Sage. And then you have Joshua. And more, oh, one of the really interesting things that I was going to talk about, and I don't know if anyone's ever discussed this or if you've heard it, but Sid as a... Sid's a staple in Final Fantasy. Like, there's always a Sid in any game that you play. And for this game, they decided a different route from what I'm understanding here is Sid is more of an ideal than truly a name. And while you had Sidolphus who created this ideal that is attached to the name, this idea of creating a world where, from Sid's perspective, it was where people could die on their own terms. Clive is changing that to where people can live on their own terms. And with Sid, now, now that's like, that's synonymous. It's with freedom. And so it's really, really cool that they changed the name to more of an ideal so that um, people understand like what Sid that? is about. I love that. Joshua's a biblical name, so it always gets a pass. Full. Yeah, Sid is a title. Yeah, and that's fair too. Like there are certain like Joshua's. Um, you're right. That Joshua's pretty decent uh, in terms of just like it does have a lot of history to it as well, which is good. Um, trying to think here, what are some of the other? Oh, Wade and Tyler. That would have been my better. That would have been a better uh, example because you have 
Lord Rupert Murdoch, the Lord Commander of Rosaria. And then you have Sir Wade and Sir Tyler. Which were the two shields that we got to travel with in uh, Stillwind. Just people name their kids Joshua. Yeah, that's true. My, uh, I, I know plenty of Joshua's in my life. So I 100% understand that is that is a pretty, pretty solid name. Oh, Matthew is a pretty solid name too. I read a book in the Warhammer 40k universe where they had it spelt different, and so I'm gonna type it in chat here for you. But it was they created this religious leader uh, in the Warhammer universe. It's always you know a sign of political corruption because everyone in the Warhammer 40k universe is not a good guy and so his name was Father Matthew and that's how they spelled it. I thought that was unique because you could probably either pronounce it as Matthew or Matthew and it, I think what they did was the like they like they took the way that the pronunciation of the few part sounds and it's like, if you really think about it, if you really look at the T-H-I-E-U part of the way this is spelled, Theu doesn't sound far off from Matthew. Theu. And they're like, okay, let's hyper-focus on that Theu. And so they took that. I thought that was pretty decent. That's like how you just mess with names a little bit and it makes it cool. I'm a sucker for like, really finding those little details. Mac and Dabby, get him. Real Legionnaire, we're gonna have our we're gonna have our 1,000 now. We probably had it once we got done with the last one, I just didn't bait them. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, it was the wider net. Oh. Dear Warworm. You will pay for what you've done. Real Captain, get him. A Toro killed him, buddy! No! Oh no. I didn't want Toro to kill him. I wanted to kill him. Okay, let's get Will the Wikes. Here in icons, and let's get rid of Gouge. Will the Wikes. Nice. So that's another thing too for anyone that's watching that doesn't understand what I just did. In order to put an icon ability on a an elemental icon that it's not affiliated with, such as a free with Garuda, you have to master the ability to be able to place it wherever you wish. Otherwise you're only confined to having you have to have the specific icon activated in order to do so. Some part of the game reminded me of this third. Uh, this game? I can see that. Okay, so we see it's pretty much damaging. I like that. Okay, and it has its own associated... Oh, it probably ran out there. But it has its own associated... Oh, no, it didn't run out. It has its own associated combo. I got Will of the Whites times 120. I imagine if I'm fighting a boss, I can get that pretty high. I'm thinking. Reminds me of it. I mean, that's fair, because, like, I'm, I'm more than positive that if anyone's going to have some level of, like, influence from Berserk, it could be Clive Rosfield. Solo Swordsman. I mean, he's missing out on the giant greatsword, don't get me wrong, but Solo Swordsman. How to tear down the world that did him wrong. Granted, there's not, like, hardcore demons and devils and all that stuff in this game, as, <laughs> as was in Berserk. And... Uh, he's got a little bit of a trauma story, but I think Berserk wins on the terms of trauma stories. Um, yeah, Deep Betrayal. That Griffin. Dastardly Griffin. Okay, I'm kind of liking this ability. I'm, I want to see what this is like when we fight a boss. I'm just going to kill Wild Show. That's because their presence kind of like Oh. 
chocobos. I want some walls. Bat. Bruh, are you kidding me right now? I didn't get right up on you. Bruh, I just got slapped. Now I'm trying to maximize my will of white so when he kicks him away, go fly to someone else. I still got 120, I think. So, yeah, I'll probably get more on a boss when I'm able to knock something down with a stagger. Because then I'm thinking I can activate all the whites, like, right then and there. And it's just going to be this, like, overarching, just constant damage. I wonder how that pairs with my Ramu ability. I think once we get Ramu, I'm definitely giving that a shot. We're going to try that. Because with the, with the Lightning Rod, if you place... So, like, I stagger someone, right? So I break them, and then they fall down, and I just get this free rain to just pummel. I drop the Lightning Rod, so you'll see it when we get it people who are watching. Drop down that lightning rod, and then I cast Wolf White. And I that sounds dope. Might have broken the game. Oh, I remember this guy. I remember this side quest up here. I remember this guy. And we're only 500 points away from upgrading our decks. The freed ability. Oh, let's grab this one. Branded. You're late. We'll catch you. Late for what? Didn't they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. <laughs> All right. All right. Where is he? My. I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go, and see that you kill the beast. For someone whose son's in mortal danger, he didn't seem all that worried. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. The wolf! It's going to eat me! Well, if I can help it. Grab a wolf! And he's like, no, you were supposed to die, I remember. And this kid's like, what do you mean you killed it? That's my wolf. We kicked it. We got two experience points in that. Are you kidding me right now? We got two bloody hides. Yeah, the kid's upset about it. He's like, what? What'd you do? If I remember it right. No! You are supposed to kill Wolfie. You are supposed to die. Yep. Father will have you whipped for this. Bears aren't supposed to win. They never win. Kind of sounds like this? Joffrey. Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. Yeah, so they brought bearers out here to be ravaged by this wolf, and they thought that was entertainment. Work, no doubt. Imagine. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. My son, you slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained, better trained by far than your worthless kind. 
You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Are you not entertained? Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. What a little snot. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. Uh, that wretch would be the dame. That unlucky wretch would be the dame. I can summon her if you like. Uh-oh. Though I doubt she would welcome the interruption. You, uh, you, um, serve the dame. Why would a woman of her caliber... You look afraid. Well, how do you think those bearers in the field felt? Can you imagine their fear? Their pain? From the look of you, I'd say you're starting to get an idea of the first. Now, if you need help with the second... Father, he's scaring me. You think to threaten us, Branded? The dame's pet or no, I, I will not abide such insolence. Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one? A better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded Good luck with that, buddy. clean off his shoulders. Good luck with that. I'm wasting my time. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? True. I really like the way that in this game they created the power dynamic between the bearers and the rest of the population. They very effectively turned these bearers <laughs> into second class citizens. More victims of the nobles games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service. Like yourself. Never gets any easier burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it, then I left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. Yep. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed. And toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well... Oh, that's a great metaphor. You can always buy another. Still. Such because attitudes tools don't can break, and so can toys. And, yeah, like if you break a hammer... Oh, yeah, I forgot that new wolf slaughters them. Is this your doing? Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's nest two murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. For their help. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our paths may cross again. Till then.
kill these choke? Oh. I gotta kill this guy. It's Let's make this quick. The Demon Tamer Sash. We will equip that. Dope. chores but she hasn't come back yet i think she's lost please can you help me look for her i can't, I can't promise i'll find her but i'll try describe, describe her to me she has beautiful white hair she lets me stroke her when i'm sad She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big. But she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is my job to feed her. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. There's a lot of field to search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. You work these fields? I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, They're just all rude out here. Just a bunch of jerks. Tell me that. We just have a whole because region of the village jerks. To find her pet. Chloe. Not cool. Have you seen her? Not cool. Chloe, is it? Ah, oh, little Lisette's clay thing. Whoa. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the window. See, it's hard to tell whether or not they're talking about a bear at this point. That's that's what sucks. Is I have no idea. The wind now. Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. We're gonna search for Chloe over here at this window and call it a day. We found a dog. Oh, yeah. Is. is that someone napping on the job? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I hope they don't mind the interruption. The crystal's curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? What? Get up now. You've, You've slept, slept long, long enough. enough. It's, it's time, time to go home. Chloe? Well, why did you really turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloes had pretty hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. 
Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No, don't, don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. How about you're traumatizing just everyone? Like you. Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... <laughs> oh, and she's crying. We traumatized the kid. That's a wrap, guys. We're, we're hurting people's feelings. Quest complete. Trauma inflicted. Charge. If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. What do you want? Go on, take it. I pay what it's worth and no more. Not enough for you. <laughs> pay that. And good old Bertrand. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital. But only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? A trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. Nice. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. What is this? A branded? Where's your master? I stay call for the constable. I come to you from Northreach. At the best of the game. Doing side, or main quest, uh, bro. Don't, don't get mad. Why, don't get mad, get I even. Have. I am the good lady's servant. Yeah, I bet you are. Oh, Everyone's just like, oh, we're going to treat you like a jerk me? until you drop Rumor the name. He was seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes, uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however. And for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean, most helpful.
It smells of death here, Togo. Yeah. Yes, it does. Wolves. I can't let them get any closer to the village. There we go. We got him. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You? Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. No, I know I don't. But no. no. I said to find Yannick. Yeah. All sorts of things. I have. Too late. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's gonna find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. If only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Hmm. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't have it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatian by. still in one piece I see correct you will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived they said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here thank you but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me I was on my way to see you 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 found her then Uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatienne. I believe it was yours. 
Was it calm? Nice. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. We leveled up! Yes! And we got meteorite. Alright, that's good. Cool. I should go. Pretty good. Before you do. <sighs> what else? What else it. shall you give us? A token of my thanks. The Veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Oh. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. Alright. Now we gather at the abandoned chapel where we meet with Jill and Sidolphus, I believe. Any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the battle. Pleasure House of Oriflame. Seat. I'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. 
And by oh. I mean I'm running for dear. You're back at it. Being discovered by Bahama. Jill is heavily uncomfortable. Sid, if the mother crystals truly are the cause of the blight. If which they are. You wound me, Jill. You wound me. What I'm trying me. to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, they the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. Facts. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Good Does question. a nobleman weep for a broken mug? Ooh. A torn tunic? Oh, see? He's using that tool mechanic again. Our fate means nothing to them. That's cold. No. This is not a cold. battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. Back. I can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this. Can you? No, no you can't. Can't blame him at all. I, I can't. can't. But what of all the people you need to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Aye, I'll do, mate. Might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. First, we have a gate to crash, and once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. pivotal moment in the story. If you continue, you'll not be able to return. That's what we're planning. That's not a warning. It's a feature. <clears throat> there are not nearly enough men here. It's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. Mm. I'll be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. No, yeah, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. You want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent? Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. Hmm. Something wrong? Not at all. <clears throat> Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the Inner Centum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. Alright, let's do it. The Crystal's Curse. Come on, this way. I'm trying to stay out of sight. Obviously. The passage is empty. Let me in.
thousand gil. We love our money. <laughs> Stood a chance. Nope. You're welcome. Oh, we forgot to do this. Oh, there's nothing new. I was doing Drake's Hedge, Old Warwick. So it all to tell him on. Yep. Holy Empire Sun Break. The Mother Crystals. Uh, so Drake's Head is the Mother Crystal situated on the Sea of Grace, Northern Sound Break. Drake's Head towers over the holy capital of Orflame. Its mighty form, a testament to the power and permanence of the Empire. However, mysterious ether floods and the specter of the ever-encroaching blight have led summon power to call that permanence into question. The main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. Get in there. Come to an end. We might have a little more company from now on. Captain, two arms! Wait! The cannoneer! That's a boss, if I've ever heard of it.
hatred of rage. Let's end his torment. That Will of the Whites ability is pretty good. Now we just gotta get more ability points and get ourselves up there to get some more abilities. We got Favor of the Inferno for Ignition. It increases Ignition damage by 12%. We don't have Ignition even as does. We don't even have that yet. That's the other free ability we gotta get. I'm gonna get used to that. <sighs> because you don't know who's still a man. And I have drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. I love this segment of the game because it's helping us realize kind of like why the mother crystals need to go because this is the effect that it has on men. By turning people into the The gods. Too far gone. The ether's made monsters of them. All we can do now is put them out of the zoo. Isabel said she from the Empire might be planning for that in the capital. Could this be why? You said you could call her Isabel. I don't know the reason for what it takes, so I ain't the fault of the I like how in the moment he's like, wait a minute, they what? There she, to keep people out. she let you call her Ithmo? They were there to Sorry, keep the Akashic in. Important. Oh, you gotta turn around and get that way from the other side. Am I breaking down this wall? Falcon, kick, <laughs> boom. Got him. Alright, so now we're just gonna do a quick loop around. Uh, let's get a little bit of some lighting in here now. We have some Akashic blue. It's gonna give us some Rosarian red, but we're gonna change that to a nice little ether blue here. Stop. Over. Come on, you can do it. Doesn't look that far. Right. Oh. 
some help. Hold on. Good little moment. Not quite as spry as I used to be. Oh yeah, that's the issue. I'll take that as a thank you. The spryness. Look on the right side. We sure get lost. Some units have the war cry ability. We gotta find that guy that has it. I mean, I feel like he's gonna be behind it. Oh, nope, he's right up there. Flames to me! Wild Wolf? Huh? No. Uh oh. Direction that I was just at. There was a lever for a second gate you can pull, but I want to get that item over there real quick and see if there's anything over here that I could get.
Kill him! Say so myself. Another magical falcon kick. Falcon. Kick. sword I have now it is awkwardly you enough to replace that wooden door with something a little more sturdy on the count of three light. We'll take it. The mother crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. Okay, that's fair. Someone, someone may have. You know, I don't know. How to make the rules? on stream. You can look you want to look at the camera? Yeah there you go. Good boy. You think that it messed that up by now? Sorry stay there plays it. Wait. You don't mean I my little game of hide and seek with Bahama ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, he started it. But how did he make it out alive? I walked. You should try it. Ever the jokester. Those creatures 
and Phoenix Gate be here in the mines? Are the two places connected somehow? Potentially. We still need just a thousand. Crap. And we need a thousand to upgrade our limit break, dude. Crap. Which we want to start working on. We want to get our limit break upgraded so we have long. we have more of it. Close to mastering ignition, so we're about to get all of our fire abilities and basically be a, a big when flamey boy. Army, soldiers assigned to the glass gate would tell stories about something they call the Guardian. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. Oh, it's okay. We'll we'll find out that careful, the then. stories are true. They're not just stories. The rumors of a true event, a guardian, if you will, that exists within this space. That is why this bridge is so massive. This reeks a boss fight. I played enough Elden Ring. I know where this is going. And what better of a guardian than a dragon? Where did that come from? If that's the case. That. Poor beast. Oh, victim of the flood.
to now? I'm not doing anything nice, that's for dang sure. Clyde, look out! Dragon fight, boys. Let's do this. And ye, ye, ye. Oh, God. Thought I had that. We're not having any of this. Oh, no. Slayed it. It's dead. We only need 270 or 269 points more for our next ability master. It's not bad. Are you all right? Fine. The inner sanctum lies just beyond. Chances, Chances are the palace guard knows we're here. We should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place of wash with this much ether. They're all sore. Clive. Yeah. If this all works and the blessing fades, things are likely to get worse for our gang before they get better. Being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after. By which I mean, hunted. I just hope, in the end, they'll see that we didn't have any other choice. That it was the only way to get us to a better place. And here I was, thinking I was the uncertain one. Luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you. Then it all starts here. Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? Sid's such a great character. I love him. Falcon push. Thoughts? The inner it's sanctum of Drake's head. We're with you to the end, Sid. Then what are we waiting for? Oh, 
chest. I wanna miss that. I'm not getting that back if I did. Alright, here we go, our first mother crystal. In true Final Fantasy fashion, we face a crystal. Whatever will we do? The crystal theme. It's beautiful. The hearts of Sunbrack. The core's clearly made of sterner stuff. Tyler's going to have a fix when she hears about this. Correct. Stand back. It's about to get cramped in here. Man's gonna turn into Rama or Ramu. I keep saying Rama, but it's Ramu. I gotta get out of that. See the Lightning King. And he's gone Super Saiyan. Cthulhu. I've been here before. Python has been repelled. This insolence shall not go unpunished. Dominant. You. you again. Where are you? What do you want? Fuck. It's still alive.
unleash the power within you. Embrace your fate. Get out of my head! I'm leaving. One way or another. It's over. and yours. Fighting Ifrit again.
Oh, that's a Typhon. Too much. Woo, big stretch. Big stretch before we refight this guy. Because we're not done yet. I promise in the beginning. But there is still much more than you would see. going Super Saiyan. Oh, he's purple. And he's got multiple arms. Him, buddy. Tommy, Tommy, ha! Boom.
We did it. And we're only 70 points away from unlocking our next ability. And we leveled up. Golden. The Breath of Fire, Flames of Rebirth. Cool. Increases the cooldown, which would have been nice if we didn't have two, you know, items that were increasing our gill in our experience. Oh, well. Can't have it all. Hey, nobody, how's it going? Pals and hi, I'm nobody, and I'm being lazy. How are you? How is the game? That's a lot. That's a lot going on there. Uh, how am I? First, I'm great. I'm doing well. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for being here. And don't worry about being lazy. Sometimes you need a lazy day just to rest and relax, and you need to learn to, to rest well. Sometimes it feels like we're being lazy because we tend to keep ourselves very productive. So enjoy it. Enjoy it. Rest up. And uh, get ready to tackle the rest of your life uh, the, the next day. And the next day and the day after and then take a rest again as for how the game is the game's beautiful i just can't i can't say anything bad about it it's great we just got done fighting a boss uh typhon the transgressor and unfortunately i think and sid is uh not gonna make it we're losing we're losing a guy we're about to lose a man here. Uh oh. Now we shall become one. I know who you are. And if you think I'm gonna let you have him. Think again. Mm, the last of his that was the last of his energy. Yeah, there we go. Why do you deny your fate, your purpose? Because you're creepy and you're not you're not like being nice about it. You're being very, you know, oh that's a lot of blood he lost. Try not to talk. Drive. For so long, I thought I had all the answers. But then I met you. I learned. It wasn't a good death we should be fighting for, but a better life. Mm -hmm. It's all very well, man. Reclaiming yeah, you should have been like, please accept your fate, night bro. But if we can't choose how we meet Sid. Yeah, this is where... I was talking about earlier how Sid in this game is more of an ideal than a person. And while Sidolphus is so, Sid, don't get me wrong, I made a choice. Uh, Sid is a staple character in Final Fantasy games. He's always, there's always one. There's a Sid in every game. And so for this game, they've been able to change it to a bit of an ideal to where now as Sid is dying, we are going to adopt the name Sid the Outlaw when we're interacting with the world so that we can make the world a better place. Sidolf has fought to allow people to die on their terms. Clive is going to fight for people to live on their terms. I can think of one better than you.
So this is how you would waste your will. Perhaps it is time to learn. Your place in this grand scheme. Ashen grip, let ember glow to kindle flames anew. Oh no, Joshua Rosfield has entered the arena. Sorry, Clive. Had I arrived but a moment sooner. Do you remember me, boy? I saw you protect them. That was very brave. I know you're there. My travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. And I know that it is his power that you seek. But know this. If you want him, you'll have to go through me. Very well. The breath of my ancestors. Fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. This is getting us nowhere. We agree. No more games, Phoenix. Yeah, buddy. Find it. Oh! We are come to claim our vessel. And I said, no. Trap them. You will know what it is to burn. Yours is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to. Maybe your brother's alive. He didn't kill him. These are my friends of destruction. Have you forgotten already who I am?
Just try and get to my brother now. I think he just trapped him inside of himself. Feet. That's a really dope scene. So when I said the game was beautiful, like this is what I meant. Like this just stuff is crazy. Clive's brother, who he thought he murdered as like a child, um, comes back to save him, utilizing his now very, very well-controlled powers of the Phoenix to uh, do this. Crazy graphics. And the graphics are amazing. Yeah, the graphics are 100% amazing. Meanwhile, we forgot that Hugo Kupka is at the hideaway slaughtering everyone he can find. Among the dead, shall I send a Stolas? That won't be necessary. Because Titan is here. He's gonna cave the whole thing in. go on the revenge quest. Now we're going to have to take it. We're going to have to take it to Hugo Kupka. In Kostnis, the Dalmetian the finest Republic. finest from the master weavers of Randala. Come, come, feel its softness. Make a nice gift to your wife. Sausage, all from greens fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. restoratives, restoratives. All you like, sir. It's all fresh. Pick this very morning. Restoratives. Good old Dalmex. Might I interest you in a potion, milady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? Turn around and say no. Say no. I'm sorry. I wish you well, but maybe mother's guide you. Palmatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. What's an unguent? Unguents are a soft, greasy, or viscous substance used as ointment or for lubrication. Okay. And then I know that a poultice is something that you put on top of a... Uh, it's good a to soft, see moist mass of material, typically plant or flower, applied to the body what to relieve that? soreness and inflammation. Yeah, you put it on like wounds. And on muscle aches. The bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who's there to make sure old they stay that way. They called it the Unguents. 
Be like, it's quick, trap. husband, grab the young ones. ones. A very good one at that. That's why they changed Another. the name. What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free. There is enough for royal royal sir is going, dear madam. Didn't give them shall I grab you the ungulates? And they were like, no, now you know you should not. So we will not cool allow that to happen. To oh, thank you so much I for the say. hydrate, for the redemption. We got the coffee to drink. It doesn't have to be you who frees them. Noise. It has to be me who frees them. They're bearers. I'm a bearer. We free bearers. Damn it all. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. And as you can see, we have removed our bearer's mark. So there's still a bit of, like, scar tissue there, but it's, for the most part, it's gone. You're Sid now. And if anything happens to him, we're finished. And now we officially have the abilities of Ramu, so we're about to get into a fight. Once we're kind of through this little, like, kind of scripted area and we can get back in control, we'll probably call it for the day. So we don't have too much longer on that, but we will get a good fight scene in that courthouse up there. A stoic meditation. We got one a nice redemption. We will... Please, we don't know anything. We don't know anything. Pause. We're going to go ahead and do our quick stoic meditation. I like how, as we're talking about Old Lube, the very first one that I have right here, Book 7, Meditation 12, is Be Thou Erect or Be Made Erect. And that is not what it stands for. It's It has everything to do, I believe, with uh, your personal... Uh, that's not helping it in any way, shape, or form. And we'll just move on. Let's see... And that's the very first thing I found. Ooh, this is a good one. So it's in the same book, previous. And it is kind of a simple meditation. And it's... So this is book seven. It's meditation six. Marcus Aurelius's meditations and he writes how many after being celebrated by fame have been given up to oblivion and how many who have celebrated the fame of others have long been dead and that is a beautiful meditation to reflect on when you talk about how especially in modern american culture specifically we are raising generations of, uh, of youth who seek after like the instagram uh, influencer. They, they want the influencer fame. They want to get, you know, viral on TikTok. They want to get viral on Snapchat. They want to get viral on Instagram. They want to become a social media presence. And it's like, how many people that have been famous in the past are now dead? How many people who have celebrated those same people for their fame are now also dead? Fame is temporary. Your fame, your personal fame is temporary. It only exists as long as you exist. And your personal fame, in terms of your recognition, only goes as far as people in the future of your lifespan are willing to reflect upon it. So like John Wayne, very famous American actor for his work as a cowboy in every movie that he starred in. How many people today talk about John Wayne? Probably not enough. But how many people did talk about John Wayne? A whole freaking lot of them. Back when Clint Eastwood was making cowboy movies. How many people talk about Clint Eastwood now? No. It's a classic Stoic ideal. So this is a good quote. It is a good quote. It's a classic Stoic part of the philosophy. That quote is actually a core point of the Stoic philosophy, which is uh, amor fati, um, which is a love for, for fate. Um, and then there is another one, which I believe is called uh, Stoic Mortis. Morti. Stoic Principles. There's one that I'm trying to think of. Chue. No. 
Epictetus, no. No. Wisdom, Courage, Temperance, and Justice. Bruh. I can't, I'm trying to remember what the name is. It's a Latin term. And... It's not showing it to me. But Amor Fati is, is one of the big ones. Um, and so Amor Fati is a love, Amor, uh, Fati of fate. So it's the idea that your life um, is something that, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether life gets tough, um, the fact that it ends, in the end, you just need to have a love for fate to recognize that life will eventually end. And as a result of that, you should love it for what it is and enjoy it for what it is. So that's a good quote because fame is temporary. It's finite. It's not, it's not the core. If it was the core of it, your fame would be eternal, but it's not. So that's what to reflect on. Believe and now let's go slaughter some dolmen. Let's go. Let's go put the fame of these dolmen to Bruh. You're just going to walk out here and just start slamming people in the face? This guy, yeah, he's going to get wrecked. Just Forgive wait till we get in. He did not mean to offend. Yeah, Why okay. No sign of Hugo. But here we go. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. Thanks for the lesson. You're very welcome. Thanks for the redemption. It's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? It's him! The outlaw. Sit here! Abilities of Ramu. Sweet. Sit so we have some fun little abilities. We've uh, thunderstorm. One of my personal favorites. Pile drive. Fight a curl. Enough of this. Let him play with the kitten. They brought a pet. <laughs> You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. Those things are fast. We'll have to be faster. Oh, 
Actually, I'm getting a call. I want to make sure I can take this real quick. Give me just a moment. a good phone call because I have some stuff that I'm doing for I have a, a drum contract where I am music directing for uh, my a church that I used to go to for quite some time and it's for their junior high services for their students and they told me that because their seventh graders are at camp they're only doing one of the services this week and I thought they had two so there's a chance that we get to start a little bit later and I get an extra hour to my day. I'm kind of low key excited about it. What stuff I got to do with. Gonna make my life a little bit easy. So, let's do call. He's gonna shoot me some numbers and I can people real quick. But I mean, we're pretty much at the end of what we're doing anyway, so it's all gonna go hand in hand. A whole bunch of fun! Republican War Panther Slain! That's a title. That's definitely a title. I'm so glad that that's a boss that we have to fight is the Republican War Panther. <laughs> and we got a lightning shard. Nice. We can go ahead and make ourselves a, a shocking blade. One big lightning boy. To hell with this. They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. Oh, nobody knows. Thank you so much for the bits, for the cheers. I appreciate it. Exactly. As you can tell, I added text-to-speak, so you can type in messages now. You didn't know that before. I should have probably said it. But you've now earned a 1K bits badge. Welcome. Welcome to the bits well, leading. Yeah. All of That's our awesome. Are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole. All because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? Yeah, they are not you happy that we're here. That's saved. rude. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. No, they we're won't. We're all marked now. <laughs> <laughs> For five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. He goes, but I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> it's like, I, I wasn't ready. This is all. <laughs> He's like, hey, it's okay. I'm going to apologize. And they're like, um, 
we weren't ready for that. I wasn't. Sid I wasn't told ready. Us this wouldn't be easy for a, for an apology. They'll that's not around. what was on my list of things to uh, hear. If you say so. We should go. How dare you say sorry to me? And he just gets up and leaves. Like, what are you gonna do? That's literally what it's like when you talk about the idea of like killing them with kindness. Um, there's a, a teaching where it's like to kill them with kindness is to heap burning hot coals over your transgressor uh, because it just all they do is they nestle in their anger and their frustration and their fury and if you are only providing them peace and love and, and forgiveness and you know seeking forgiveness forgiveness then it's like they're just sitting there stewing and it's it makes it very apparent like oh crap like I'm kind of I'm kind of blowing up here. So the hideaway is going to get a little bit of a change. The only thing that I don't like is the fact that it's going to put us in an area where there's a lot of water. And the map doesn't show anybody's water in this area. So I don't get that. Uh, I don't get that ago, at all. We destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope. For a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Oh, it's to give them a better tomorrow. They see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. Well, we have. Because we're the main characters we're covered with plot armor. So that he wanted to create a world where we were free. Nobody. Free to choose our own path. Who's a good boy? I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong only that it was our own I miss him a world where we can live and die as equals that's what he wanted what we want and that's why I bear his name it's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy and I'm not going to let anything Stand in our way. Right over, lovebirds. Home sweet home. And now look at the hideaway. It's a giant thing in the middle of the water. Yes. There we go. It actually, the hideaway is cool. Don't get me wrong. This hideaway is dope. But, and I say this nicely, but there was no water on the map. None. You want to see what I'm talking about? You want to see my frustration? You want to see, you want to see what I'm so... No, I don't want to enter photo mode. Nope, no, 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 no. Exit. Watch it. Watch this. Watch this. Watch. 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 Watch what happens when I... When I, when I do this, and then I tilt it, right? So I'm going to rotate it around. Tell me where the water is. Where is it? You see this? This is water. You see down here? This is more water. See all these? Water, water, water. See that? That's a giant pit where there's water going into it. It's like Niagara Falls. A lot of water. You see this? This is some water. You see all that water? Where? Where is it? Where's the water? Where is it? Where did it go? I don't see it. That's oh, my only frustration awesome. with this new hideaway. Other than that, it's massive and kind of kind of awesome. Not gonna lie. <laughs> like, not gonna lie. The, the hideaway is really cool. Only problem is, like, Square Enix, where the hell's the water? My guy, where is it? And we just unlocked a new ability. We have yeah. mastered our ignition ability. So because we've mastered it, we can now attach it to an iconic uh, segment that is not uh fire so we are going to attach it instead of wicked wheel and now we have two sets of flame based abilities and we're gonna work now to we want to unlock do i actually have enough i don't i need nine points we need to get lightning rod lightning rod is stupid cracked you slam that thing down throw a sick pile drive at it golden but from here we are going to go ahead and call it good for the day um this is made a lot of progress as you can see, we've got two full levels. We got a third out of seven uh, icons. So 
we're moving and grooving. Uh, we'll be back next week. So Monday, I got my Dungeons and Dragons stream. So if you are a fan of Dungeons and Dragons, we are playing through the uh, fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons. This is our second campaign, the Storm King's Thunder. We are actually getting closer and closer to finishing it up. So I have a little shout out to Couch Co-op 5e. That's my Dungeons and Dragons group. I am the DM for that. So it's a lot of fun. We'll be there on Monday. Um, Whereas, I'll be back on Tuesday, so if you want to keep up with anything on the stream, got my socials, got my Twitter, my Discord, my Instagram, that's good ways to help keep up if we're going to change, like, stream uh, schedules, you'll see it on uh, my Discord, if we're going to change up what kind of games we're playing, you'll see it on my Instagram, Twitter, just helps you know when I go live, all the fun stuff, but that's going to be it for me today, uh, thanks for the stream, thank you for coming in, nobody, we appreciate it, uh, appreciate the bits, appreciate the redemptions, appreciate the views, uh, so thanks for hanging out, really appreciate it, love it as always. Uh, we'll be back next week, so hope you guys have a great rest of your uh, weekend. Stay safe, have fun, and uh, don't forget to tell somebody you love them. Have a good day.